Hi everyone, uh, thanks for having me today. I'd like to acknowledge and pay my respects uh, to the Wurundjeri people, the traditional custodians of the land on which I am right now, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. My name is Lucas Ferreira, and I'm a research fellow at the School of Population and Global Health at the University of Melbourne. And I'm here to talk to you about how we study sex differences in infant mortality through a population data linkage study of Brazilian male-female twin pairs. My presentation is about a collaborative project that we've set up between the Center of Epidemiology and Biostatistics at the Melbourne School of Population and Global Health and the Computer Sciences Department at the Federal University of Bahia in Salvador, Brazil. In summary, we established the whole of population cohort of twin births in Brazil with data on their birth and death records linked deterministically. Um, then we created an algorithm to deterministically matched records in pairs based on their attributes included in their birth records. Third, we apply the algorithm to extract a data set of twin pairs born in Brazil between 2012 and 2016. And finally, we demonstrated the application of a twin study design to study sex differences in health outcomes by studying opposite sex or male-female twin pairs. I'll base my presentation on these four steps and will offer some perspective on some strengths and limitations of our approach. In order to establish the whole population core of Brazilian twin births, we use data from TEPNET, an online data management system managed by the uh, Ministry of Health Brazil. We use data from the birth database, SINASC, and the death database, SIN. Uh, data sets from each of those sources were linked deterministically through their birth identification number. However, this attribute was not present for all death records that we used from 2012 to 2017, which presented a limitation to our approach. In summary, of all records of twin births between 2012 and 2016 that we assembled, around 4% were successively matched to a death record within one year after their birth date. Um, the following step was to match records in pairs based on their similarity for 16 of the attributes included in their birth records that should be at least theoretically identical for twin pairs, such as date of birth, gestational age, number of prenatal consultations, location of birth, and others. Here we can see the list of attributes that we have used. Um, the linkage process was also deterministic. Uh, yielding uh, 208,044 records matched in 104,022 twin pairs, therefore matching almost 70% of all twins in the cohort. Our matching percentage is uh, increased year by year, probably due to increased in quality of administrative data over the years in Brazil. The algorithm did not return sets of three or more records with identical attributes, which, which uh, sort of helped uh, shed light into the quality and the performance of the algorithm. Our analytical approach using twin pairs and within pair, comparis uh, within pair comparisons, which I'll explain in a bit, makes it more preferable to avoid false positives, even if we miss some true positives along the way. We'll look at our analytical approach, but first I'll give you a brief overview of why we study twin, twins and twin pairs in the first place. First, it's important to highlight uh, the difference between monozygotic or identical twin pairs who originate from the same fecundated egg or zygote that then splits a few days after conception to dizygotic or fraternal twin pairs, which come from two eggs, which are fecundated separately. On the right, you can see an image that describes this process. The twinning process under underlies the genetic difference, meaning that uh, monozygotic uh, pairs have uh, the same sex and share 100% of their genetic variants, while dizygotic pairs share on average 50% of their genetic variants. Both monozygotic and dizygotic pairs also share a variety of environmental exposures. For example, they grew up in the same family, they have the same age, including the gestational age, the same uh, socioeconomic background, and even share their mother's uterus during the same time. While twin studies are probably more famous for disentangling familial, such as genetic and environmental causes of variance for human traits and conditions, a more epidemiologic approach focused on comparing twins within pairs allows to control for those familial factors when studying predictors of health outcomes in disease. The reason this is important is because most human traits and conditions are largely familial, which means they are influenced by genetic and environmental factors shared within families. This approach is of course not possible when you study unrelated individuals. The opposite sex or male-female twin pairs, they offer a special twin study design which allows to investigate sex differences while controlling for 50% of genetic variants, age, and the number of measured and unmeasured uh, uh, environmental factors. When we compare males and females within opposite sex twin pairs, 
we are essentially obtaining a clearer and unconfounded estimate of the association between sex and the outcomes we're interested in. Opposite sex twin pairs can be easily determined to be dizygotic, but for same sex twins, this can only be assessed through DNA testing or similarity questionnaires. Opposite sex twin studies are especially relevant in the cost context of data linkage studies with our routinely collected administrative data, which may allow for identifying twin pairs as we did, but does not offer uh, information on the zygosity of the twins. Uh, in our case, that was not necessary because we studied opposite sex twins. So in our data analysis, uh, uh, in 28,558 opposite sex twin pairs, one between 2012 and 2016, after excluding outliers and those with uh, congenital anomalies who are normally at high risk for infant mortality. We studied the association between sex and infant mortality while also controlling for birth weight and many genetic environmental shared characteristics as we explained before. First, we estimated within pair differences for birth weight, with, uh, which can shed light into its potential role as a confounder in the study dissociation using uh, generalized estimation uh, equations. Not surprisingly, we found that male twins were about 100 grams heavier on average than their female co-twins. However, while heavier birth weight is usually a predictor of better health uh, outcomes, this was not the case for the male twins in our study. So when we use conditional logistic regression, we found that males were at high risk of infant mortality than their female co-twins, even after adjusting for birth weight and familial factors with an adjusted, uh, adjusted odds ratio of 1.42. So that's 42% more likely to die within the first year. Um, uh, when looking specifically at neonatal deaths, those happening in the first 28 days of life, we also stratified the analysis by gestational age, and we found that the adjusted odds ratios for neonatal death increased from those born uh, very prematurely, such as at 28 weeks, to those born at longer gestational ages, such as more than 37 weeks, uh, which is considered a uh, term pregnancy. Uh, we conducted uh, sensitivity analysis to assess the quality of our data linkage methodology. We compared matched and unmatched twins to a certain potential differences between those two groups that could have biased our results. We observed substantial differences in infant death rates, especially in the early neonatal death category. Uh, we can also see that males in the group of unmatched twins were also more likely to die within one year than the females in that group. Uh, but perhaps more importantly, our estimated odds ratio of 1.42 grain for infant mortality is very similar to a previous study with opposite sex twins born in the United States, which also found an algorithm, uh, uh, sorry, also used an algorithm to match twins in a pair, uh, which was then validated with a high accuracy against a subsample of records from twins, uh, twin births from the state of Michigan in the United States. Uh, so that study from Zhao and colleagues found uh, an odds ratio of 1.43, which is very similar to the one we found even without validating our algorithm yet. Uh, in conclusions, we linked birth to death records from twin births uh, in Brazil of twins deterministically. Then we matched twins in pairs using our bespoke algorithm. And we analyzed data from opposite sex twin pairs to assess the association between male sex and infant mortality. Our results suggest that males are at increased risk of infant mortality when they have a female co twin, more than in the general population. Our results also indicate that this disadvantage increases the longer the male-female twin pair stays in the womb before the birth. We also found some limitations in our approach due to some missing data and limited uh, attributes to conduct li linkage and matching. But we continue to work on improving our linkage and matching uh, methods, and we are very open for a new collaboration in, in this area. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the whole team who worked on this project, especially Marcos Barreto and Everton Mendonça from, uh, from the uh, University of Bahia, and all the hard work creating and uh, executing our linkage and matching strategy. I also acknowledge John Hopper and Katrina Skura for their advice on study design and statistical analysis. I also thank the University of Melbourne and uh, Federal University of Bahia for their institutional support, and I thank you very much for your time.